Hello, boys and girls. It is Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery and author of Diamonds in the Sky. And I don't know who that is, but we're just going to move it, tuck it, tuck it back, tuck it back. I'm here with my assistant, Zane Frings, who is driving me to the airport right now as I uh, travel west. And I have got just a bunch of things today, as you can see, uh, that I wanted to talk with you guys about. Just a bunch of different ideas. And one of them I wanted to talk with you about today especially as it pertains to salesmanship, is the idea of authenticity. And I'm going to give you a very cliche piece of advice here, which you've heard a billion times, but we're going to expand on it so that it's not just a cliche. Be yourself. And if you've seen the movie Just Friends, our dear Joyce sings a beautiful ballad that goes something like, Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Mikey's making snow angels. If you haven't seen the movie, it's hilarious. Ryan Reynolds, please watch it. If not, well, you're missing out. So anyway, be yourself. Guys, I think that a lot of you believe somewhere in your mind that in order to be a salesperson, you have to act like a salesperson. And I think that can mean a few different things, but for a lot of you, it means like trying to be too prim and proper, trying to be too professional. Uh, you take out the personality. You take out your authenticity. And people don't like that. I don't know where the idea that like you have to be this like buttoned up professional person uh, to like get people to say yes to you came from or where that mindset came from, but it doesn't really work. And I'm, I know that you guys don't enjoy it either. Nobody enjoys acting prim and proper and not being themselves and watching their P's and Q's. You know, I think people need to get back to the basics of who they are when they go and meet with customers and knock doors and do sales presentations. People like personality. People like to feel like they're talking to a human being, not some little robot that popped out and is following some very bland vanilla script, okay? It's not effective, it doesn't captivate people's attention, and quite honestly, it doesn't make them feel comfortable with you because you're not being yourself. You're trying to do something. Stop trying so hard. Well, Becca, but I feel like, you know, if, what if people don't like my flavor? <laughs> you know, what if they just, I just feel like sometimes if I, if I just did myself, maybe not everybody will like me or they won't like my style. Who gives a shit? Guys, not everybody's going to like you no matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Not everyone's going to like you. What, there's that quote that's like, you could be the juiciest peach in the world, but there's still going to be somebody who doesn't like peaches. That's so true. Um, and there's another quote that I kind of relates to this that I had the other day by Eleanor Roosevelt. And it said, um, do what you feel in your heart to be right for you will be criticized anyway. So be you, because you're going to be criticized by somebody anyway. Someone's not going to like your flavor. But you're going to have a better experience if you're being authentically yourself and communicating the way you communicate, talking the way you talk, being the way that you are. And customers are going to like you too. Sure, there's going to be some people sometimes that don't like your style. But that happens to everybody. You can't please everyone all the time. And, and I'll use myself as an example. I have a ton of amazing fans and followers. I get emails and messages every day that say, Becca, you know, I'm in your program. I love it. I've been watching, I stay up till four in the morning listening to your YouTube channel sometimes. Like, I love it. You know, you keep my attention. You keep me laughing. And uh, I really appreciate your teaching style, blah, blah. And I love that. Every now and again, not very often, but sometimes I get an email that says something like, you know, Becca, I would really be interested in your sales content because I think you have some good ideas but you have such a potty mouth sometimes. <laughs> and I just, it's a shame because you have good material, but I wouldn't buy it because you swear sometimes. Okay, <laughs> well, I swear sometimes. They're just words with sounds. I don't really think that that's a bad thing. And my personal view on cussing is they're just words. And sometimes, that's just how I talk. I'm being authentic. I'm not gonna try to make every single person happy and try not to piss everyone off because that's not me and I can't make everyone happy anyway. Somebody's still gonna say something like, well, you talk too much. I don't like your voice. You look like a porn star. That was one I got the other day. Thank you, that's maybe a compliment. These things aren't like <laughs> huge, but I don't know. Thanks, if I needed a different career, I guess my options are open. Uh, so be yourself, okay? And by the way, on that note, for anybody that is that person, maybe you are listening to my video and you're like, man, I would've listened to her, but she said fuck. <laughs> Okay, so you could choose to invest in a program that quite literally the material could make you 
millions of dollars. And if you don't believe me, go look at reviews because there are contractors all over the country who share their tangible results. And I love it. You guys are kicking so much ass that are in my programs. Keep that up. Um, and also thank you for being such great referrals and testimonials for me because I don't have to sell my program anymore. You guys are doing the work, showing people what's possible, and I'm so proud of you guys. I love it. Uh, but you're basically saying, I'm going to keep myself from something that could absolutely help me because I'm offended by this person's language, demeanor, race or gender, any of those things. Don't do that. <laughs> That's your own foolish mistake. Okay. Again, I'm not asking you to like me and I don't think that you should be asking everybody to like you because they're just not. That's just, it doesn't matter how good the food is. Sometimes some people just don't like onions. <laughs> okay. They just don't like Mexican food that much. So do yourself, do you, be you, be authentically yourself, relax. Don't try to be this buttoned up salesperson because it's inauthentic and people see the bullshit and you're a little bit on edge when you're not being yourself and that's gonna affect your results. So be yourself, like what's your style? And if you don't know what your style is, just kind of think about it. Take a few minutes to be like, how do I want to come off? And I tell you what, you might not be exactly what everybody likes, but if they can at least tell that you're being totally yourself and honest and relaxed, they're gonna trust you, they're gonna like you. And by the way, you create a cult-like following of raving fans and customers and ref get referrals from that when you are authentically yourself. And Zane and I were talking about this yesterday, actually, but we were talking about, um, what were you we talking about? Because we were saying, like, you could be extreme. Oh, okay, we were talking about being in the middle. Most people try to be right in the middle. There's, like, extreme personality and extreme, like, uh, methods and style and stuff like that. And then there's, like, very, very, very bland. Most people don't try to be very, very, very bland but they try to be in the middle, which they think is safe to present themselves that way. But the truth is, safe, you're not gonna get yourself raving reviews that way. You're gonna do okay, but if you are extreme, you're gonna get extreme fans. You're also gonna get a, get a couple of extreme haters, but you're gonna get extreme fans over here that just absolutely rave about you. And that's how you get someone that sends you their whole you know, neighborhood directory or church directory because they want you to go do everybody's inspections and refer you to all their friends and family because they just love you. Think about, Lady Gaga is what we talked about yesterday. We we're saying Lady Gaga is very extreme. She's very, very out there. But her fans are not fair weather fans. They are like maniacs. They make meat suits to look like her. They wear telephones on their head. They are, they're just like her because she's extreme and she just goes out there and says, this is who I am and this is what I do and this is my style. And not everybody likes that, but she's not worried about the people who don't like it. She's, she gives a shit about the fans, the hundreds of thousands, millions of fans all over the world that put a meat suit on because they love her that much and they want to be like her. So you don't have to wear a meat suit. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but go out there and be yourself. Be authentically yourself and just kill it and brand. That's how you brand your personality, okay? And you're gonna get better results that way. And again, if some of you don't like to hear the F word sometimes, I'm sorry, I guess, but <laughs> that's just how I talk. So keeping it real, giving you the value. I'm in the business of delivering value, not in the business of keeping people happy and being politically correct. So if you like value, stick around, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, obviously you can get more quick tips and tricks and stuff here. And then uh, go to my website. If you want sales training and stuff, like I d deliver the goods, you guys, at this point, I don't have to tell you to buy my program because you can look and see all the results that contractors all over the country that are getting following them. I would love to have you be a part of that because it's so fun to celebrate and help you guys, you know, achieve the results that you want to get and make the income you want and ultimately create the lifestyle by design that you want to have. So www.roofsellsmastery.com. You can literally buy programs online right there um, on the website. You enroll automatically, you'll get signed up. So that's it for right now. Uh, love you guys. You're doing great. Keep it classy out there and uh, we will catch you later. Bye. Bye.